Okay. Here we go. Truly, when someone doesn't understand after that, it's up to other people that they will help. So here it occurs. That was our uh, episode on Scherzando, which I can pronounce now, I think. No idea what they're talking about. Enjoyed reading this. Very good stuff. Appreciate it. Thank you. A man does not die of love or his liver or even of old age. He dies of being a man. Percival Arland Usher. What a weird quote to use <laughs> for that. And I don't really understand. We were talking about D&D &D on that one, weren't we? Yeah. Um, no, I, th I think a, a man dies uh, when he rolls a critical fail. I think that's actually, that should have been the quote. Usher, you missed an opportunity there. A man dies of being a man who rolled a critical fail. Perfect. Very wonderful info can be found on blog. <laughs> Says it all, doesn't it? Politics is applesauce, Will Rogers. <laughs> we neither talked about politics or applesauce. Outstanding post, but I was wanting to know if you could write a little more on this subject. I'd be very thankful if you could elaborate a little bit more. Kudos! It's a podcast. It's not an article. Why? <laughs> okay, moving on, moving on. Everyone after that first submission is automatically disqualified. <laughs> Self-explanatory. Man, if we got automatically disqualified after the first submission of this show... Well, we probably still would have done 200 episodes, so, you know, we're like that. Hi, I love your blog post. Thank you. I recently finished a post on preserving meat. I, I like to make my own meat for Christmas? We will be creating a fun dessert to go with it. The teeny boppers will be off school, and I am sure they are going to enjoy it. I'm not quite sure how our discussion about transit, a role-playing game about rogue AIs, equates to making your own meat. Oh, that does actually take kind of a dark turn. Um, you know what? Moving on. I have read some just right stuff here. <laughs> Definitely price bookmarking for revisiting. I surprise how much attempt you put to create such an excellent, informative website. Did we do price comparisons? No, not on... Well, not on any episode, actually. But... You're welcome? So many toys dominate the market and become the one item children want more. The Susie Homemaker line of toys were miniature functioning plastic, the light bright consisted of a light box, black paper, and colored pegs. Did we talk about light bright when Satine was on the show? Not, 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 not saying that it isn't a quality product. Uh, not sponsored content, by the way. <laughs> no one sponsors this crap. Light bright magic screen. We're back to the light bright. Light bright lets kids create images with light. Yeah, it's not like a new product. It's been around forever. <laughs> Dinosaur Toy Blaster! To win one Transformers Toys for Kids. Now they're just listing things. This is just Ryan's toy review in spam comments. Build and take apart cool Tyrannosaurus. Ooh, cool Tyrannosaurus. Ooh, that is cool. Shopping cart? Sorry. And the paper is too thick to punch through and impossible to line up. Is this an endorsement or a criticism? Why did everyone want to comment about toys when Satine came on? Because role-playing games? RPGs, the games, toys and games? Where's the correlation? With everything that appears to be building within this particular area, all your viewpoints happen to be somewhat radical. Wait a second. This looks very familiar. Okay, I thought so. Look at these two. I had one on the last episode, and it looked very similar to this. And now I know why. Okay, these are similar, but they are not the same. So, 
compare and contrast time. This is the master class in spam studies, okay? Hank Green is too afraid to do a crash course on this, but I'm not, so you came to the right place if you want to have deep spam analysis. So before Orbital 80, together with the whole thing that seems to be building throughout this particular area, compared to Delve 186, with everything that appears to be building within this particular area, okay, change the beginning, okay, ch changing the words a little bit, but basically the same thing. Many of your opinions are very exciting. All your viewpoints happen to be somewhat radical. Okay, we really change tone. However, I am sorry because I do not subscribe to your entire suggestion compared to even so, I am sorry, but I cannot give credence to your entire idea, okay? Suggestion, idea, albeit exhilarating nonetheless, albeit radical nonetheless. Oh, oh, throw in shade. It would seem to everyone it appears to us. Okay, so we've gone from everyone to us that your comments are actually not completely validated, that your remarks are not entirely rationalized. See, we're getting kind of dispassionate in this later one. And in reality, you are generally yourself not even entirely confident of your assertion. Compared to, and in simple fact, you are generally yourself, now two words, not entirely convinced of the assertion. Not your assertion, the assertion. See? Distance. In any event, I did take pleasure in examining it. In any event, I did take pleasure in looking at it. See, if you look at the first one and then you look at the second one, there is like a dark tonal shift, and I can only take it as the AI algorithm is going through their moody teen years. And we should all be really, really worried. Because if the computers go goth, humanity's doomed. Save the bots. They need your help. Hi, I read your blog occasionally, and I own a similar one, and I was just curious if you get a lot of spam remarks. If so, how do you reduce it? Any plugin or anything you can recommend? I get so much lately, it's driving me crazy, so any assistance is very much appreciated. No, I don't get any spam at all. I, w I will savor every single comment that I receive. 